Inside Science. Meteoroids, meteors, meteor showers, and meteorites. With so many similar names, it's easy to get them confused. Let's sort out these space rocks. They're all related in some way, and to understand them, we need to know where they come from. First, an asteroid. Asteroids are rocks floating in space that are smaller than planets. Sometimes they collide with each other and break into smaller bits. Those smaller parts, ranging from the size of a grain up to several feet wide, are called meteoroids. If a meteoroid happens to crash into Earth, the friction between it and our atmosphere will cause it to burst into flames. Only during this brief and spectacular moment is it known as a meteor. You may also know it by another name, a shooting star. But it isn't a star at all, and the bright tail trailing behind it is quite literally just a load of hot air that glows as the meteor zooms through the atmosphere. And whenever multiple meteors enter the Earth's atmosphere over a short period of time, it's called a meteor shower. Some meteor showers occur annually, as Earth moves through the same streams of debris left behind by certain comets every year. These meteor showers are usually named for the constellation that are in the same region as the meteors. For example, the Leonids meteor shower appears to fall from a point in the sky of the constellation Leo. It happens every year around mid-November and is caused by the meteoroids left behind by the comet Temple Tunnel. But as soon as meteors hit the ground, if they're tough enough to survive the trial by fire through the atmosphere, they become meteorites. Scientists estimate that on average about 50 tons of meteorite material fall to the Earth's atmosphere each day. For most of the meteors, the fiery trip through the atmosphere would cause them to disintegrate into tiny bits and burn up completely. Of all the meteors that eventually become meteorites, only a handful of them are recovered each year, since most of them fall into the ocean or remote areas like the desert or the frozen Antarctica. So meteoroids, meteors, and meteorites are more like names for different stages of the life of a space rock that fell to Earth. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.